hello everybody peeps it's me Grammy D here with a video just maybe to fill in a little bit while we're not doing anything um, don't want anyone to think that we're not doing anything with the antivirus we do have things coming up but we're having a bit of a break while we get on with other things like life and other stuff but um doesn't mean we can't keep in touch with you and i thought i might share this little idea i've had with you um let's throw a bit of history in here shall we if anyone's interested before i moved here to uh, canada i used to live in uh, merry old england of course and uh, i had to leave a lot of friends behind and uh, a nice uh, portion of those friends were my old mates from i've known them since like the 1970s and we all met through a, a science fiction group on a sunday afternoon um, it sounds a bit nerdish, but that's how it happens, you see. You can meet some of your greatest friends through nerdy pursuits. And I am a nerd. I love science fiction uh, and the horror movies and all that sort of stuff. And um, so it has led me to great friendships. Anyway, I won't bore you with all that sentimental malarkey. I uh, met all these friends and we kept in touch over the years. And uh, Well, we had actually lost touch for quite a while. Well, I did. And then the, a couple of years before I moved to Canada, I got back in touch with them again. It was nice where we started meeting up every month in a pub called The Magnet. And we quickly became The Magneteers. It's a, uh, a nice name for a group. The, the, the cry for a, a pub meeting would be Magneteers Attract. Because that's what magnets do. Can, can you see what we did there? Yes. Anyway, that's uh, a long story short again. Um, I'm not part of that anymore. Well, not physically. Uh, they all meet well before the before the pandemic they all met in the pub physically uh, but now um they do it online uh, through zoom once a month and uh, i can join in too because you know there's no borders with uh, the internet anyway the history lesson over what we started doing recently is that uh, lockdown challenges where someone uh, comes up with a challenge uh, and everyone has to do it. And uh, for example, the first one we did was uh, build a Dalek, uh, the alien creatures from Doctor Who. Build a Dalek and um, out of everyday items and whatever. Uh, I don't have it handy here at the moment, but I actually won. <laughs> I won that challenge. Uh, so then I set a challenge um, to design a spaceship out of bits and pieces. And I do have that here. I'll just grab that for you. Uh, Anyway, yeah, it's just made out of toilet rolls and uh, kinder eggs and things. And it, it lights up, but I won't mess about with this at the moment. It's got little uh, sort of, you know, bicycle lamps and things. That, the simple battery operated things that you stick together. It, as I said, it's very nerdish, but it's good fun if you're into that sort of thing. Um, the last one we did was, um, if anyone remembers the TV show Thunderbirds and the little machines that come out of Thunderbird 2's pods, we had to design one of those. So this is what I did. And this is the emergency t-shirt launcher, which um, fires t-shirts into a, a crowd of fans if the merchandise runs out. It's, it's a very important thing. Um, we don't want the fans getting too excited and throwing toilet rolls. Uh, although if they did throw toilet rolls, we could use those to make the next uh, challenge. Anyway, I won uh, another challenge. Uh, that, actually, my... Uh, when, when you win something in this challenge, it's, it's your job to specify the next challenge. So I think I've not won them all, but I won two. And I, I specified the spaceship challenge, but I, I didn't win the Thunderbirds challenge, which um, uh, I did. A, I can't remember now. Anyway, no, I didn't win the spaceship challenge. I won the Thunderbirds challenge. I'll, I'll edit this bit out or maybe not. Who cares? Um, anyway, the long story short. I gave the challenge to build an alien weapon of some kind. It could be a gun, a rifle, or a sword, or that thing that uh, Worf uses in Star Trek. That totally unpractical thing. But um, anyway, that's a challenge. And so I'm working on that at the moment. And uh, But the thing is, there's a dual purpose for this challenge. Because if this weapon that I'm building works out okay, I may use it in the next antivirus video so because the next antivirus video is going to have we're not spoiling it too much it's going to have a science fiction theme 
and I think there could be a space for this weapon in that video somewhere uh, for a few seconds. It'll be quite funny anyway. I can't really tell you anymore. Uh, we've got this great idea for a song, which we've recorded a, a demo for, and we're going to work on that as soon as we get a chance. But there's these other things going on at the moment. We're too busy. We can't do it at the moment. But I don't think the pandemic's going anywhere just yet, so it'll still be around by the time we get on to the song. The song is relevant to the pandemic, uh, but it's in a humorous way. So, uh, yes, I'm going to get on with it with all those bits and pieces, and uh, the next time you see me, I may be covered in hot glue. Okay, um, before the lockdown, I went to the dollar store and a couple of other places, and, and I picked up these items which may or may not be any help. Now, I was thinking um, my inspiration for this uh, alien uh, weapon is the, the Men in Black movies. So I want to do something a bit like the ones they're using that. Now, it's not going to be an exact replica. Uh, it's not going to be a highly finished um, prop that holds up to high scrutiny. It's going to be something I can knot together with bits and pieces that... Uh, looks fairly okay for a few moments on video and uh, as I said earlier uh, if this turns out okay I may use it in the next antivirus uh, video let's just go through some of these items um, <laughs> well yeah um, it's uh, a water pistol but it's not going to be a water pistol when I finish with it um, I'm just going to you know cut it up stick it together with other things and uh, paint them it'll look all right I think um, bits of holes and wires and things and uh, that there in the middle um, is a um, one of these solar powered garden lights and I think I might pull it apart and use the glow um, because in the Men in Black and the Men in Black fans may or may not know this but um, in the Men in Black there's something that you may not even notice it but uh, um, all the weapons have little like glass bubbles and inside is like a little alien creature, like a little alien brain that can, I suppose it controls the uh, workings of the pistol. Anyway, so I, I saw these little plastic bugs and worms in, uh, in the dollar store. And I thought I could make something out of them, stick them together, paint them up and uh, put them inside a glass bubble. Uh, which will also be lit up by um, this thing here which has got a remote control and I can put hot glue all over it and never have to open it again but I can still use it and these other little lamps that could, that could look good on, the, on it as well stuck to the side I don't know maybe um, that thing there which is obviously one of those things you use when you can't bend down one of those grappling hooks uh, I thought that would be good for the framework of the of the rifle if it's going to be and a bit at the end could be like a, a butt a rifle butt front bit there uh, it's going to be like another handle to hold it with. A little bit of plumbing there might come in handy. And, uh, well, basically, and assorted lamps and torches and things, all to make it light up. As I say, it's not going to uh, hold up to high scrutiny. It's not going to look like a real prop. But on a video, it might just look right with a little bit of special effects. Let's get to it, shall we? You know, it's uh, occurred to me that I'm very ill-equipped for this challenge. I actually had to ask the wife where the uh, <clears throat> where the drill was. <laughs> I'm useless. I mean, if you want me to paint you a picture, I can do it. But uh, put a shelf up, it'll be very wobbly, I must tell you. Now, I've got to try and drill a hole through this. And uh, normally that would be quite simple, but I'm terrible at this sort of stuff. So uh, anyway, I think I've identified the right uh, bit thingy. Um, what I want to do... I've managed to pull this apart. Uh, I need to drill a hole all the way through here. And so I can put that through it. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and this thing is just about the right size. But uh, it could be a bit dodgy. I don't have a vice or a work shed or anything like that. I'm doing everything on my drawing board because that's all I understand. Uh, anyway, so let's, uh, here we go, let's get in. Just bear with me a moment, will you? There you go. <laughs> um, 
So I'm going to try and get a hole in here, but yeah, I'm a bit concerned. I don't want to damage my delicate hands, so uh, hmm. If anything happens, please tell my wife the insurance documents are in the... <laughs> and she can find them in there. <clears throat> um, hang about. I'll back in a moment. Okay, I knew these would come in handy again one day. These were props from the uh, 19 Covid Stein video. But they are actual proper industrial protective gloves. So I want to I hold these. I'll keep these on while I hold this thing. And uh, hopefully, I won't kill myself. If I do drill through my hand, I'll probably keep it in the video. Okay. Should have, I should have chosen the central point before I started. Oh. Now then, is that big enough? Let's find out, shall we? No, it isn't. Where's the next size up? I'm useless. It looks, it looked like a match at the time, but uh, well now I've made a hole. Now I've made a hole, it should be better, so. Here we go. <laughs> the next one up, so to speak. The next one up where? I don't know. Painful. I can hear all of you people out there with safety regulations telling me off now. Unplug it before you do that. Well, I can't unplug it, it's battery operating. I'm not taking the battery out. Eh, okay. Well, I want to put one glove on, because if I do drill, at least the glove might uh, help me if it slips. Okay, here we are. Hmm. Aha, bingo, bingo, it's gone in. Oh, there's some sort of mechanism in the way stopping it going all the way through. Oh, feck. All right. Well. It's only plastic, but uh, I don't want to destroy it. I want to keep this orange thing intact. But. Oh, I don't know. I should have thought this out more. I should have realised there'd be something stopping it going through. Hmm. <laughs> no. I haven't got anything long enough that's gonna gonna go all the way through. Really. I was thinking it was hollow all the way through. It shows you how much I know. Oh well, I'll sort something out. I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of hot glue involved in this uh, build. Phase two. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this so I can stick it part way. And use a lot of hot glue to hold it in place. Let's roughly measure where I want it to go. As you can see, this will go here. The gun will go on here, and the other little handle, if I use it, will go there. And I'm going to stick something else on there. I've seen something in the bathroom that might come in handy. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I must be mad. What am I doing? What am I doing? I should be out there getting some fresh air. Ah, I forgot to make my measurements. Crazy. I hope this is entertaining at least. Oh, sorry, it's copyrighted Star Wars sounds. Okay. It's only very thin metal, so I should be able to do it on my knee. Again, if I cut my leg off, I'll keep it in the video. It's going. It's only a hollow tube. Oh, there goes my thumb. I bet you're all having a good laugh at this, you DIY people. 
Oh, okay. There is a hole. It's going through. Yes. Come on, my son. Yeah, get ya. Hey, did it. Oh, <laughs> did it. <clears throat> there it goes. Oh. Went too far. Yeah, about there. What do you think? A bit of hot glue, hold it in place. Or a bit of uh, duct tape, I think. You can't go wrong with some duct tape. Hmm. All the pieces longer, isn't it? That's better. It goes in all the way. Holds it steady. Let's get the hot glue gun plugged in. Then uh, let it warm up a bit. Then I can uh, <laughs> I can get glue in. I uh, don't know. Where's the? I can't find the socket. That is. You know, I've been in Canada nearly five years and I still can't get used to the different power sockets. <laughs> I'll let that warm up for a moment. But yes. Good old battery operated uh, toolery. Meanwhile, I'll take this off here. Because I'm going to put that on the other one. And I'll use this one for the handle. And that's going to go in the front, but it doesn't need to go in the front now. I can I can fasten it there or something. I don't know. Might be okay. I think I might be using some duct tape here. There's going to be a lot of editing here, and maybe speeding up the film. Sorry, video. I'm very old school. I said film, film. It's not a Super 8 projector. It's a highly technical digital malarkey. Right, so that's going to go straight. Make sure it's straight. Ah, I can see through that hole. I'm going to put tape on here and possibly cover it with something. Ding, 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 ding. Don't judge me. I told you it wasn't going to be a, a, a highly finished movie prop. I hope that the plasma generator doesn't melt the duct tape. <gasps> I would imagine the plasma generator, or whatever it's going to be, particle weapon, malarkey. Um, power source will be in this orange bubble which ironically would have been where all the water is kept if I use it as a water crystal there you go it's moving about a bit I'll put a bit more on I'll put a bit more on shall I you won't be able to see this when it's finished and it's not going to be thrown around willy nilly it's only going to be used by me very carefully because I don't want it to fall apart. All you cosplayers out there, mock if you must with your fancy foam and heat guns and I don't know, um, tanned leather and studs and real metal armour. Ah, I enjoy watching those videos but I don't go cosplaying. I'm not an attractive young lady that looks good in a Red Sonja costume. Although that would raise a few eyebrows, I don't think, if I paraded around dressed as Red Sonja. <laughs> Ugh, I'm sorry for putting that thought in your heads. Yeah, that'll do. That's all right for now. Now then, hot glue time. Is it, is it working yet? Aha! Whoops. Let's put some hot glue on the end of this to see if it works. I'm sure it will. Go on. 
Get in there. Get in there. Messy. It's messy. Go on. You want? To, I know you want to. You went in earlier. There you go. Oh, it's hot. This stuff. It's burnt a hole in my finger. <laughs> Useless at all this sort of stuff. You should have seen the trouble I had with those little models. If you had a good look at those, if it's full of glue. That's fine, isn't it? That's okay. That's what I wanted. Okay. Okay, M. Agent M, or whatever you are. Here's a noisy cricket. If you know what I mean. Men in black fans will know exactly what I mean. Oh, it, and it lines up with the, with the handle. I just have to be careful with it. It's a bit wobbly, but meh. So, and uh, this. Uh, it, can you see it's, uh, oh. It's got different colours, but you can't tell. It's going to be uh, stuck on there somehow. Uh, probably with um, command strips. Because I need to take this off to change the battery, you see. Um, and on top of that will go the uh, the green ball thing, which I'm going to do soon. But that looks alright. I don't know if I need this bit, to be quite honest. I don't think I need that bit, it looks silly. <laughs> and this doesn't. <laughs> I can just hold it like that. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now then. Uh, these, I've got two of these. I think I'm going to use these on the sides. Demonstrate what I mean. Let's do the remote control. I want to see if one of those works them both. Okay, so we need batteries. I've not put batteries in them yet, but uh, I will. Uh, now, I'm thinking of putting these on the sides because they light up. And we all know that when things light up, they look pretty and whatever. And if the remote control, well, here's, here's, here's a remote control for the other thing. Yeah, fasten that on there somewhere. I don't know. It'll look like part of the machinery and I can actually use it to switch the lights on. We'll get there. I may not show the entire build on video because there's going to be a lot of swearing and swapping about and you might get bored. But um, yeah, let, we'll come back from time to time to see how it's looking, shall we? Or maybe I'll speed everything up. I think I should do that. <clears throat> speed it all up. Oh, that's a bit wobbly. I don't like that. It could fail me when the aliens are attacking. I don't know. I wish I could get inside. I don't want to pull it apart too much. I won't be able to get it back together again. Spoil it. I wonder. I don't know. I don't know. Not such a brilliant idea after all. What do I know, eh? Wow, how, how long have we been at this? I don't know, 40 minutes or so, and that's as far as I've got. It's going to be a long day. I don't think I could manage having a whole channel just doing this all the time. Although I think after a while I probably would get good at it. But... <clears throat> probably not. I don't think I'll stick to my music. Get through that with the skin of my teeth nowadays. Anyway, enough, um, what's the word, enough profumbulating, let's get on with it. <clears throat> Command strips, they're very good. Things only fall off the wall several times, instead of all the time. Pictures on the wall behind me are held up with these things. 
pretty damn good stuff. And it doesn't mark the wall, but you can take them down without causing any damage to the wall. There you go, command strips. I'll just give you a plug. Totally unpaid. Six AA batteries. Absolutely outrageous. Everyone we'll gets some answer. Okay, let's see if this works. This will be interesting. I've not tried this yet. I need six more of these for the other one on the other side. Oh, from we had. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. Um, oh, well, it's not the right way. Let's have a look. This should be. This uh, remote should work on this. Mm -hmm. Yay. And... Changes colour, is it? Oh, I don't know. Is that a timer? Oh, it's got a dimmer. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's got a dimmer. Well, that's fine. Hey! <laughs> awesome! Anyway. If the remote doesn't work for both of them, there's a little switch on the side. Let's plug, let's do the other one, shall we? These things are designed never to be opened. It's like an unboxing video, isn't it? But not as exciting as a... Gibson guitar or something. This is a dollar store fluorescent. Uh, sorry, not a fluorescent. Dollar store LED lamp. <laughs> I can't open it. Sorry guys, the whole project's cancelled. I can't get in this box in this packet, so get this light box out. <laughs> well sticky tab, that's gonna be no good to me. Okay, let's uh, light this one up as well. Right. There's a little screw set there in case I want to screw it together, but I don't want to do that. Because I might need to change batteries in the middle of an alien invasion. And now can I destroy enemies, the alien spacecraft and things, if I can't change your batteries? Come on, guys. Come on, play the game. It's important stuff. Especially with those COVID germs attacking. I need to vaporize them. <clears throat> Very technical. And again, that works. Awesome. I want to put this away before I lose it. So, see I don't want to put these on yet because I'm going to paint it and I don't want to put paint on the command strips because it might not, they might not work. But, I can put it on the inside just to see how, how they're going to fit. So. Yeah, two command strips on each one. I don't know why they call them command strips, but uh, they do. Two command strips on each one, and uh, Bob's your uncle. Yeah. We'll do that when it's all been painted up. What I will do now is mask off some of these areas, because I want to paint these like chrome, silver. And I don't want to 
get paint on the on that bit because uh, oh here we go you see this thing here this is going to be the the power bubble with the googly monster inside and uh, it already has a light in it but it's very tiny I might use that for something else sometime but um this is gonna go on here and as you can see oh look at that hey eh? and it changes cut this one does change color if you want it to if there's a button here where it it, it it just keeps changing color how 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 unfancy is that eh what do you think simple idea it's going to make this gun look really good so go on top of it like that and this stuff here i was thinking this tubing which is originally for keeping cables tidy and i did get a piece of plumbing as well but it's too metal and rigid i'm going to super glue this onto there somehow and shorten it and have the rest of it going in back into the gun just for a bit of effect you know isn't it good it's thrilling what you can get from the dollar store anyway you can see this bit here i took the plug off for the water uh, where the water goes into the water pistol and instead that can go on there actually just about fits maybe i'll glue it anyway well, that'll go on there and you can see what I mean I'll cut it off and that can go in the top of the ball and it'll just look like uh, some sort of power tube or something McGubbins and what's left of it I could put along the sides if I think I will it's gonna look quite good I think when it's all finished trust me on this if you stick with me on this video you will get to see it finish at the end it will be within minutes for you, but probably a few days for me, because uh, I'm getting bored of it already. I'm not cut out for this YouTube in Malarkey, I tell you. I don't know. I need something to light the end up. Now, I do have... I've got this thing here, but it doesn't have remote control on it. it you have to turn the cap. It's one of these things that you wear on your head, you know. If you're working on something, probably in the dark, like, you know, fuse box or something. Uh, I did get this originally to go inside the... Here. But uh, it's not practical. You can't switch it on and switch it off. You've got to turn the cap just to switch it off. So I might just keep that and use it for what it's meant to be used for. Um, uh, yep, because we do get a lot of power outages here in Nova Scotia in the winter. Uh, especially if it snows. Uh, the weather forecast said it's going to snow, it's going to snow again in um, some parts of Canada. Not here, I hope, but uh, parts of Canada, which uh, are cursed with wintry weather most of the time. Oop North. Anyway, that gives you an idea. There's a bit of plastic there off the same thing. I don't know if I need that. Oh, I don't know. It might serve to cover that area up cover the uh cover the um the, the tape and it might serve to hold it in place hey. see what i mean i mean you just make these things up as you go along sometimes and uh, you can end up with a uh a masterpiece or maybe not i don't know it's looking uh, a bit more like a gun now isn't it well it was a gun there's a water pistol but it's starting to look more like something different. I don't know. But anyway. I think that's it for now. I think we need to paint it. I'm not doing that today. Um, I'll do it tomorrow when a bit earlier in the day. I'll go out on the back deck and I'll do some painting. Which just involves spraying it. I may not even show you how I'm doing that. I made a appear magically with it all painted up i don't know we'll see so toodaloo for now i'll see you in a bit which will probably be a few seconds for you ta-ta uh, which tree can i blow up
Well, none of them, but I guess if you have to, how about that crooked one? Oh, they're all, they're all crooked. I'll go for that one then. Okay. Ready? Yep. Just got to warm up. <laughs> 